So a few of you are interested to find out how um, we code in um, a key press into a game that jumps us straight to a game ending. So for example, um, I've got the 364 binder here with all the issues in. And if we go to issue number 8 of 364, we'll see near the back we've got some codes for Sergeant Seymour, Robot Cop. And in those codes, we've got this code here that jumps us straight to the game ending. So if you've got an action replay cartridge, you can go to monitor mode and type G, which stands for Go, 891C. That will jump you to the location that houses the game ending, and it will start the game ending. So how do we use that within a game, so there's Robot Cop, uh, as a key press? It is actually quite an easy process to do. Um, there's a bit of groundwork beforehand, so um, I'm going to show you how it's done. So we've got the game here. Let's put the volume up a bit. So here's the actual game itself, and what we're going to do is I'm going to freeze it at the title screen using my action replay cartridge. So you go to that menu, and if you press M for monitor, this now allows you to start looking at the um, game code within the Commodore 64's memory. Um, and we can look at it in different ways and what you want to start doing is looking at it um, in Commodore graphics mode. So if you type I and then star, that starts to take you through the game code but in um, Commodore 64 CBM graphics. And what you're looking for is a space in between or quite a big chunk of space in between all these characters because a chunk of space will indicate a free bit of memory that you can use to add your code in um, for your key press recognition. So as we go through nothing seems to jump out at the moment. Now I'm not going to go all the way through because I already know the memory location that has some blank space. And if I show that to you, so you can see what it looks like, there you go. So it's a reoccurring at. Sometimes it can be a blank space, other times it can be a reoccurring at. And uh, also, if you look at that in um, the actual code format, it's a break command, BRK command. So we know now that this is a blank piece of space. So I'm going to go for AD90. So keep that in mind, AD90, because this is where we're going to program just a short uh, piece of code that's going to allow us to jump to the game ending when we press the Commodore key on the keyboard. So AD90, we've dropped that down. Now, how do we go from the game code to AD90? The way to do that is to hunt for a command uh, a key press command within the game itself and we're going to hijack that key press command and tell it to jump to our code. Now that key press command is DC01 and um, I can tell you now that that command is in memory location 1741. Now I know that because I've done a bit of groundwork but I'm just going to quickly show you how I did that groundwork. So there is the um, key command within the game that we're going to hijack in a second and from that point we're going to jump subroutine to our code and then eventually once we've done what we need to do in our code we're going to jump back here with a return subroutine. So how did I find this load accumulator DC01 to know to hijack that? So all I did was I did hunt, oh, hold on just one sec let me just bring that um, that back up so you can see a bit of the code. So I did the hunt command which is H from memory location 0800 to FFFF so that's near on the whole of the Commodore 64's memory. So I'm going to hunt from there to there and I'm going to hunt for AD01DC. AD01DC. Now you can do this with any game and hopefully it will bring something up in the search results. So here's a few search results. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 memory locations that have come up. Now we already know that 1741 is the one we're going to go for but when you're doing this yourself you'll have to 
just play around and check and see if these ones actually work by doing what I'm going to do now. Now, obviously these four didn't work for me. They must have crashed as I was using them. So I knew that I couldn't use those ones, but I knew I could use 1741. So if we go to 1741, there's the load accumulator we're going to hijack. So this could be in any game. Look for this command in any game and you could probably hijack this part of the game to jump to your code. So how do we jump to the, our code? So jump subroutine JSR dollar and then we're going to go to that AD90 where that blank space is that we've just found. So AD90, do you remember that? That was the blank space where it starts. So now if we press enter, that's now changed the game code. And that said, when you get to this point in the game code, which is actually the point where it looks for a keyboard press or a joystick press within the game, it's going to jump to our code first. And so that's going to send it to AD90. So if we go to AD90 now, obviously it's blank, which means if we ran the game now, it would crash because it would start to play the game. It would go, oh, I've got to jump subroutine to AD90 and it goes to AD90 and there's nothing there and it will crash. So we have to put something there now to ensure that it doesn't crash, but also because we want to load in a, a key press sheet. So I'm just quickly going to type the code and then I'll explain what it is it's doing. It's a very sh small piece of um, code. You can do this in any game and the only difference really would be, um, oh crumbs, the only difference would be where your jump subroutine into, oh sorry, not where your jump subroutine into, where your jump into for the game ending. I'll, I'll show you what I mean in a second. Um, AD9A and jump, oops, Just fumbling with the keyboard here. Um, a 9 C, and D. So, right, here's the last bit of the code and then return subroutine. So, let me just enter that in again just in case I made a mistake with my um, cursor movement. So, what's it doing? Let me just quickly show you this sheet. Now, this is readily available all over the uh, internet. If you want me to email it to you, just give me a shout. So, this is uh, like a, a key grid and it allows us to. Um, find out what key on the keyboard, so there's letter C, letter G, letter W, uh, how is that referenced within this code? So for example, we're looking for the Commodore key, which is here, and the Commodore key is 7F, DF. That's how it's done. Left grid, top grid. 7F, DF. So in our code, load accumulator 7F, there's the 7F, and then compare it to DF, and that's the DF there. And what that gives you is the Commodore key. So the code is going like this. It's setting up the keyboard. It's looking for DF, which is the Commodore key uh, pressing. If it's, if it's not pressed, branch not equal. If it's not pressed, then go to, let's just change this letter here. Go to AD9F. AD9F is that L, is that load accumulator DC01. What we're doing here is we're saying look for the keyboard press. If the Commodore key isn't pressed, then go to this line. And this line is just that command that we re we hijacked previously. We're replacing it here. So then before it goes back to the game with the return subroutine, it puts that command back. So that's the command we hijacked previously. And then it goes back to the game. So the game plays again. Um, and then it goes jump subroutine to AD90 again, and it looks for the key press. If the key press doesn't happen, it replaces the hijack command, and it goes back to the game. And it keeps doing that, doing that, doing that, and doing that, until you actually do press the key. So it goes look for the key press, look for the Commodore key, branch not equal, but it does equal this time, jump A91C. That's the game ending. Jump to A91C. Remember in 364 issue 8, We've got the game ending, go A91C. That's what we're actually doing here. We jump into A91C, and that will take you to the game ending. So let me show you it working. Hopefully it will work and it won't crash. We go back to the game. 
There's the title screen again. Press the fire button, and again, and again. Hopefully the game will play. So the game's playing now, it hasn't crashed. That's good. We press the Commodore key, there's the game ending. So all we did was add those, what were they, five lines of code, and we can jump straight to the game ending. So if we press now the key, the uh, fire button to take us back to the title screen. Now let's go back to our code again, change a few things, AD90 it was. So we go to AD90. Now remember I said that the keyboard uh, is looking for DF. And now DF, so 7F DF, 7F DF is the Commodore key. What if we wanted to use the space bar? So the space bar is 7F EF. So all we need to do is change the DF to an EF, and instead of using the Commodore key, we can use the spacebar to activate the game ending. So let's start the game again. Right, so let's press the spacebar. And there's the game ending. So now it's the spacebar that activates the game ending. Now, what else can we do? Well, now we've got our code built in, we don't just have to make it a game ending, we could do it as the level skip. So if we go to AD90, all we need to do is where that jump A91C, which is jump into the game ending, what if we used the level skip in there, which is go 7533. So all we do is change A91C to, what was it again, 7533. So instead of when we press the space bar, instead of it going to the game ending, it's now going to skip the level. So start the game. So now, if I press the space bar, what happens? There you go. Let's just skip the level. We're going to level two. Let's do it again. Level three. That's how simple it is to code in a level skip. Press the space bar again. Level four. Now let's quit out of the game. So remember, we go back to that, let's go back to the title screen. We go back using the action replay cartridge. We go back to AD90. There's our small piece of code. So that little bit of code, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lines of code actually either makes it jump to the game ending or a level skip. That's it. It's just that bit of code and also that other little bit that jump subs routine to this, which was at um, 1741. So this is the bit within the game that jumps to our code and then this return subroutine back to that. And then it plays and goes back to that and it gets down to there and goes back to that. And that's how it goes um, per cycle. So um, let's just put the keyboard back now to the Commodore key and just show you that again. So we change the EF to a DF and we'll play the game again. And again, if I press the Commodore key, that'll be a level skip. There you go. And just to quickly show you how to change it Let's go AD90. We can now change it to a completely different key on the keyboard. So let's get our keyboard sheet. Let's pick a key. So let's say we want to go the letter D. Or how about L for level skip? L for level skip. So DF, FB. DF, change that to DF. And then FB, change that to FB. And now if we run the game again. Just wait for the game to start. Now it's the letter L on the keyboard, which is just over here. You can't see it's off the screen. If I press L, there's your level skip. So it literally is that simple. So let me take you back to the code, AD90. So whenever I show you a level skip in 364 or show you a game ending, uh, code in 364 it says go 891 so whatever it is go to wherever a part of the um, game code so for example here is uh, Mr. Mephisto, Mephisto the game ending there it's 
jump to, go to A100. So all you would do is you would create your code. So we go 7F and put the F for the Commodore key. What was that? 8100. You will literally change the jump here to 8100. So you've got to find a clean space within the game code. Add this little bit of code. Remember to go and hunt for that keyboard setup um, code within the game, within Mr. Mephisto, Mephisto, whatever it's called. And that will give you um, the memory location, such as it did with this one, which was 1741. And then you just jump subroutine to wherever that blank piece of code is, and then your code's in there, and then it will look for that jump. Or sorry, look for the Commodore key. If it's not pressed, it will ignore it. If it is pressed, it will jump to the game ending. It is literally that simple. And that's it. That's how you code in a game ending or a level skip key press within a game. Hope that helps. Feel free to give me a shout on um, vinny at freeze64.co.uk or catch me on Twitter, c64 underscore endings.